Woo. Hi, how are you doing? It's absolutely freezing today. I am frozen. So this is going to be a super quick demo. I always say that, but they end up going on forever. We're going to talk today about pickups. Okay, now I'm a fan of the AMG 81 for metal and chugging. I think it's great. Passive wise, I like Duncan Distortions and uh, you can't go wrong with a JB either. Now, what I want to talk about exactly is when we buy, go buy our favourite pickup and we put it in a guitar and then we get another guitar, but because it's not got our favourite pickup in, we're a bit like, mm, a bit grumpy. So we go out and we buy our favourite pickup and then we put that pickup in that guitar and it makes them all have a similar feel and tone, obviously. Now, pickups don't affect your tone massively, but they are one of the factors in the tone for me personally, especially the feel that is uh, really important and really crucial. I have a uh, Charvel Socal made in Mexico, and I have my new Jackson Soloist Winterstorm made in the Indonesian factory. Uh, Fender owned both of these factories, both the Indonesian and the Mexican factory. Now, these both have Duncan distortions in. The Socal has a maple board, maple neck, alder body. The Jackson Soloist has maple neck, uh, ebony board and mahogany body. Oh, my Socal is a bolt-on and my Jackson Soloist is a through neck. Now, I prefer through necks because when I play up high, I don't want anything really in my way. And for me, this is just more comfortable. But tone wise, I don't know whether all this stuff makes a difference because I've had two guitars before that were exactly the same guitar, which I've talked about in another video. Two King V's, both Pro Series, both exactly the same spec. They both felt different. They both played a bit different. And more importantly, they both sounded a bit different. So, does it really matter when we're going out putting the, uh, the, the same favourite pickup in our guitars? Is that really giving us what we want? It probably isn't. And when we go online and we order guitars, we should really be playing them because, like I've just said, you can buy two of the same guitar exactly and they can feel and play and sound slightly different same with amps i once bought an engel fireball brand new i liked it i went off it i bought something else and then i went and bought another engel fireball uh, this is a long time ago and i noticed instantly that the second engel fireball did not sound as good as the first one so i took that engel fireball back to the shop and i said the, 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 I'm not feeling it doesn't sound as good for some reason. They said, okay, they changed it for me to a different fireball, which was very good of them. This was PMT. When they gave me the different fireball, that fireball sounded and felt better than any of the other fireballs. Obviously, they've got tubes in. It's a bit different when we're talking about amps and valves and tubes and stuff to guitars. But what I'm saying is, not every single piece of gear, even if it's the same model, whether it's a guitar or an amp or a pickup, sounds and feels the same to me quite often they can sound and feel different dean razorbacks i've owned four dean razorbacks in my lifetime and every single one of them played felt and sounded completely different so back to what we're talking about today we're gonna put these guitars together one riff on each guitar i'm gonna use the riff that i used to use all the time that's not really a metal riff not really a rock riff it's just i don't know it's a riff there's some chugging it's a bit cordy plenty of open cord in it so you can tell i think it's good for uh finding the difference in tones so i'm going to use that one riff i'm going to put this guitar against this guitar and you tell me if you think there is a big difference in tone uh I'm going to use an SM57 and I'm going to use my EVH uh, EL34S because it's just ace. That's why I'm going to use it because it's just amazing. It's an amazing amp. Please write in the comments and tell me if you can tell the difference, if the difference is small or large. Both these guitars have uh, pretty new strings on. One thing I will say is this guitar has come with whatever the hell strings that uh, they use at the Fender 
factory, which I'm not sure what they are. This one has Dunlops on. Okay, so same gauges, same tuning, drop D, same pickup, different guitars. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 